Hey guys, Icon here from Valkyria Music and today we're really excited to use Doubler alongside Eventide's latest effects plugin bundle, the H9 series plugins. These effects all sound amazing and what they have in common is a master ribbon parameter that you can map to as many individual controls in the plugins as you'd like. So this gives you a lot of possibility to get a lot of effect modulation with just one ribbon parameter. We've been having a good time MIDI mapping this to the valves in Doubler to get more expression while performing and that's the technique we're going to look at today. We've dropped some Eventide links in the description, one is to the plugin bundles page and the other is to their demo request page where you can request a demo for each individual plugin so that you can give it your own test run. Hope you enjoy. Before getting started setting up the effects and performing the sounds, I just want to talk over a useful technique to use while singing ideas with Doubler. So it's always a good idea to sing over a drone or a pad or a chord progression that gives you a context while singing. For example, in this project we're going to use a piano chord playing a C minor. And we're also going to set doubler to C minor so we make sure we stay in key while singing. That kind of sounds boring right now so we'll use Eventide's black hole with its automate preset to add some ambience to this. We've also cut the lows with an EQ. This is also a great introduction to the ribbon parameter. As you can see in this automate preset, it's controlling a lot of different parameters, gravity, size, pre-delay, low EQ, high EQ, and it's doing all of this with just this line here. You can set the ranges here by clicking and dragging. We're not going to MIDI map this to Doubler for this instance of an H9 plugin, but we're going to map the ribbon parameter for all of the next H9 plugins we look at. Once we find the sweet spot, we can just leave it there for now. We've recently introduced an update 1.3 that has improved the pitch detection algorithm, but this will improve your pitch even further by giving you a great musical context to help you stay in key. The first part we're going to be making for this beat is some intro effects, and we're using the pendulate synth, like we're going to use for all of the parts. This is a really amazing free synth recently released by Newfangled Audio, and it introduces the concept of a double pendulum waveform, which is based on the physics of a double pendulum in this animation video that you'll see to the side. And it has amazing internal effects based on West Coast Buchla style synthesis, like a wave folder, a low pass gate instead of a traditional low pass filter, and lots of other useful controls, a global LFO. And you can change how it looks. Let's record Armit to see some of the visuals. <laughs> We'll leave it at Twin Turbo, and this is the a busy signal effects preset. So let's first go to Doubler to see what kind of MIDI we're sending through. We're singing over that C minor piano drone, so let's make sure our key in Doubler is selected C minor. It is. And we'll leave the stickiness and input level where they are and the octave shift plus one. So alone this effect sounds quite plain. <laughs> We're going to do some hybrid MIDI mapping with this one using both a physical knob to control a parameter in Pendulate along with our voice vowels with Doubler to control the effects ribbon parameters. So first let me map this LFO frequency to my machine knob here. I'll click Command M, it already appeared here, and map it. This LFO parameter is going to speed up the beeping effect of this preset. <laughs> Now for the effects. The first effect here is a spring reverb and I'll manually modulate its ribbon parameter. So as you can see as I increase the ribbon parameter its mix is increasing, its tension is changing, the EQ is changing, its modulation level is changing and its speed. So this reverb has a lot of different character as you move the ribbon parameter back and forth. So if I want to map this to a vowel in Doubler, I'll just first make sure the ribbon parameter appears here in this mappable parameter menu. I'll click Command M, click the ribbon controller, 
and then map it to my E syllable. I'll also unlock the E syllable. So when I stress the E syllables, you can see the ribbon is moving up. This is the basic mapping technique that we're going to apply to all of the ribbon parameters in the plugins. So the next one is micro pitch, and it adds a pitch decaying effect. <laughs> follow the same process the last even tight plugin we're going to use for this patch is the ultra tap delay plugin this is a great hybrid reverb delay it adds lots of ambience with spread controls length width chop and a bunch of other cool tools you can use so here's how this sounds with this ribbon at full we're using the batman preset <laughs> We're also going to map this plugin's ribbon controller. But with UltraTap's MIDI mapping, we're going to do something different, making it so the ribbon parameter goes up when we're not using the E syllable. So to do that, we're going to hit Command M, find UltraTap's mapping here, Control click, and hit Invert Range. Now, when we're not using the E syllable, the reverb will go up, so it'll add some nice ambience and decay to whatever effects that came from the other two plugins. Remember, we're also using a physical knob to modulate this LFO frequency here. turn that down in the mix and remember you can edit the automation for each ribbon parameter by hitting A and then finding the automation. The next part we're gonna add is a 16th note bass line using Pendulate's dynamic rotors preset. Here's how it sounds without any effects. Fun to modulate the frequency in the low pass gate. To add effects to this, we're going to get in some multiband processing. To do this, we've used the splitter tool that separates the frequencies into low, mid, and high, and you can also control their crossover points here. This isn't an Ableton stock effect, but we put a link in the description where you can get it for free. To the mid frequency band, we've added mangled verb, which is a distorted crazy reverb, and crystals, which is a granular synthesis style effects plugin. So here's how they sound. So in this Are You There preset, as we increase the ribbon, the mix of the crystals increases, also their decay. You can increase the maximum decay, for example, by clicking and dragging this here. Now when the ribbon's at the max, the decay is 5 seconds of the crystals, instead of how we had it before at 1.9. Here's how the mangle verb sounds alone. So you can see it's adding some delay, some reverb, and some distorted textures. We're going to map the ribbon parameter of both of these plugins to a vowel in doubler. We're going to use the O syllable. And we're also going to map the low pass gate frequency to the same O syllable.
And for the low pass gate, we'll make it so it can only open maybe a third of the way. We should also lock the E vowel from the previous step and then unlock the O. So when I increase the use of the OO syllable, the crystals come in, the gate opens a bit more, and the verb starts going a bit crazier with distortion. So let's try to play this over the beat. is a melodic lead using Pendulate's growler preset. This is actually a bass preset, so we're gonna go back into doubler and increase our octave shift to three. And here's how it sounds without any even tight effects. <laughs> First, we're gonna map the low pass gate frequency to our ah syllable. So to do that, I'll hit Command M, click it. While I'm here, I'm also going to unlock the A syllable and lock the O syllable. Then we want to map the undulator's ribbon parameter to the same vowel. So let's give that a test. The undulator is one of our favorite H9 plugins and it's a tremolo, but it's also a reverb and it's also a chorus. It has spread, it has modulating speed and depth. So you can get really creative with it. In this ramp sweeps preset, as the ribbon increases, the tremolos get faster. So as we use the ah syllable more, we're going to get a speedier tremolo, and it's really good for the ends of notes. If you leave the note with an ah syllable, then the tremolo will keep going. But if you finish your note with an e or an o syllable, then there will be no tremolo. So you can get really expressive with this one. <laughs> sounds great as both a tremolo and a reverb and a delay and whatever else it's doing. The final step is slicing up and combining all these parts we've created using the Pendulate synth and the H9 plugins. So here's our final track.
thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed that there's really so much more we can do with these effects we're barely scratching the surface but we hope it's inspired you to get started with doublers vowel midi mapping with creative third party plugins and effects as usual if you have any questions leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you and just as a reminder we've dropped some eventide links in the description you can use to get to the plugin bundles page or pendulates page to download demos or download the synth itself for more information about doubler head to voclia.com and subscribe for more videos see you next time